Hey, what's up, fam? Do you remember when Seven Deadly Sins, when the series was really consistent and pretty good back in, like, the first arc, and then power levels came into it, and then everything kind of just went weird. I, I recall Zeldris having a power level of, of, of what, 61,000? <laughs> and now we've been able to, like, push around people with 200-plus thousand, and, oh, God, what's happening? And then, like, Merlin tried to... Try to do something uh, when looking for Arthur and 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 Zeldris casually just completely trashed her and now he's using like his his supreme ability and she's just oh yeah I already figured out I'm just gonna teleport in place oh my god that's anyway so Zeldris I guess he's he's pretty much seemed to be not caring too much about uh, the war or what's going on with anyone else all he really cares about is getting um. Uh, getting his girlfriend back with her name Gelda, so he's pretty much like compliant with uh, Meliodas right now. And then after you know he probably gets her back, he's probably like GG done. I'm out. I'm just gonna go be with my gal. But until then, he uh, it was cool to see his attack. I like the stance that he had. I thought the stance he was in was pretty cool. And then he he drops his own or unique spell, Ominous Nebula, which is just kind of like he's able to push and pull people uh, around him non non-living or uh non-living things aren't affected and he's like the center point and then so he's able to anytime someone goes and attack he can push him back he can pull people in so he can't attack them and then they're all getting hit with some uh magic attack while it's happening it seems but also he's able to like protect himself from magic as it's coming in while he's uh, using it so he's got a really Kind of pretty strong ability right there with it. I feel like all you would have to do to beat that is just be stronger. As long as you're stronger than the pull and the push, you you should be fine. Like it looks like Escanor. Uh, he just has to put like his feet like a good good foot in the ground, like a good. I don't know. I'm guessing like eight to twelve inches, and then he's like stable and he's good. And so he looks like he's already he's already beaten that aspect of it, but. The, the chapter itself, there were some cool panels, like the one that I'm using for the background. It looks pretty nice, but also there were some cool ones of, uh, cool interactions between Escanor and, oh, God, I'll never remember to say it's the Rusit Trap Goddess Angel, dude. Uh, good interactions between them. He's like, Escanor, I need your help. And he's like, nah, I don't want to help you. Fuck you. And then they just kind of argue back and forth, and they have, the, they have like, a little quip with each other. They're like, Make in front of each other and sold each other, and I, I really liked when he's like <laughs> giving me an order is a wise crack at best, or something around that lines. It's pretty funny from Escanor. I like that from him. I, I enjoyed him. Uh, I enjoy his interactions with uh, with this dude, and, and now he's just like, I don't like you. I don't want to do anything with you. I don't. I don't. I don't appreciate your presence. I don't listen to anybody. And then Merlin tells him to do something. He's like, Yep, on, got it. I'm on it. Let me get this done. But then they're going to team up, apparently, against Zeldris next chapter, which... Why are they teaming up? I thought these were going to be one-on-one -on -one battles. This is wonky. But next chapter, 288, called Operation God, which... It's a pretty cool name. I didn't have a lot to say about this chapter, because not a lot went on. Uh, mostly it was them getting pushed and pulled around, and then they described uh, what they knew about his power. And then it was Escanor, and I'm going to try and say this guy's name again. Uh, Ru du Ciel. They just argued for the for the rest of it. Now they're gonna, you know, attack him. So that's all I really got to say about this chapter. It wasn't like annoying as last chapter with all the inconsistencies. It had some, but at least it had some really cool panels like this and some uh, good comedic back and forth between those two. So tell me what you think about this chapter below. Do you still have any hope for this series? Are you writing it out? Are you are you sticking with Nakaba? Will you read his next series? And if you like this content, give a thumbs up to this video. I thought it was all kind of goofy, but I, I did like the back and forth. I, I, I don't get why I don't get why he's not, he's giving them all these guys extra powers. Just drop the Endura forms. That's what people really want to see, like their cool, like crazy monster forms. You already skipped over all the ones in the other world that you brought up. Show the ones that you have here. Um, everyone likes cool monster forms. But yes, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out my other content and we'll see manga and anime stuff. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate you. But otherwise, thank you very much for listening.